becoming the target of thieves, stripping them down to the frame. It's happening a lot on the southeast side at 38th near Bryant, and that is where KOCO's Brian Schlonsky is tonight. When Stephen Holder rides, I come up to these uh, woods here. He finds things backpacks, tents, sleeping bags. Lately, he's been finding the remains of a chop shop. Took all the tires off of it. They had beat every window out of it. Thieves are doing it just steps away from this church off Southeast 38th Street, stealing the cars, some of them brand new, and stripping them in the wooded area behind these homes. I really didn't want to look inside there and find a dead body or something like that. Only talking to KOCO, Holder says he stumbled across two cars in just the last few weeks. Oklahoma City Police say they've towed six stolen cars in recent months. I just couldn't believe that somebody would not only take a person's car, but then completely total it out. Police continue investigating, but Holder, kind of frustrated, has been patrolling this area for more than 30 years. A lot of illegal activity. His message to the unwelcome crooks. Sooner or later, the law of average will catch up with you. Yeah, these chop shops can pop up just about anywhere, and it only takes these guys about nine minutes to fully disassemble your car. Now, police say there are a few things that you can do to protect yourself. One of them is just taking your keys with you. Another one might seem obvious, but keep your doors locked. Another one, just park in a well-lit area. Tonight, we're live on the southeast side. Brian Schlonsky. KOCO 5 News. Nine minutes to strip that car. That's not very long. <laughs> Pretty quick. Yeah, yeah, all good reminders from Brian. Thank